welcome back everyone to another video and this one will be taking a look at a kit that i have been after for a while and it suddenly showed up on amazon as a prime product so i was able to get it pretty quick and this is a generic uh, robot car chassis uh, but it's actually quite special so it's unknown smart car chassis four wheel drive racing car robot car chassis and that that's the actual name for the product as you may be able to see but uh, it's actually just un under a thousand rupees or around that price uh, in uh, depending on where you live but um, apart from that it's a very minimalistic uh, BYOC kind of a kit uh, and let's let's take a look at what it is and I'll tell you why I think it's pretty minimalist and smart thing so Again, uh, there's no specific manufacturer for it, but it's just generic Chinese stuff that gets imported. So it's all wrapped on cellophane. We'll probably fast forward this part, I guess. Alright, so this is the whole kit. Now uh, let's go through each of them. So these four are the main tires for your car robot. You have four motors, one for each. And of course they are quite lightweight motors because the whole casing is made out of acrylic uh, and it's laser cut. So uh, it's, it's a pretty light kind of uh, kit right here. So. Uh, four small motors the ones i think you get on uh in, in something like a toy remote control car uh, and then of course uh, two layers of this acrylic style uh, or acrylic laser cut um base and then a mount for to be put over the base and one of the things that i like about this kind of a structure is that you can have all the wires sandwiched in between and then you can have uh, the the base is one over the other so it doesn't get really messy uh, so in the pouch right here we have a case for four double a cells so that should give us enough juice and of course i'm not uh, i'm not going to run a raspberry pi or something like that on it uh, or a dragon board or any board for that matter um, and then we have a few sandoffs and some more random screws and stuff which i'm not really going to take out of uh, this bag right here as it might i might end up losing something but i am going to assemble the kit on in this video uh, up to a certain point but uh, so i think we'll see all of what's there but uh, there's no specific instructions on how to assemble this so i'm just going to eyeball it uh, and uh, just wing it give it a try and see where this goes uh, so the reason why I like this kit is so let me show you what we get here in India and you probably would have seen it uh, anyways before the, the kind of kit we get here locally if I want to go and buy it in a market and of course I've uh, shown this particular chassis a lot of time in my video and this is what you get locally if you want to go and buy it in an Indian market and because uh, it's so heavy it actually requires some fairly uh, large 12 volt DC uh, I don't know 300 rpm or something they are fairly heavy motors uh, and that then again require a lot of juice to run them you can't run these motor with four uh, four double a batteries it's not possible so that's why i like this minimalist kit and the second reason is it's minimalist is that it doesn't have a microcontroller or any sort of control mechanism uh, included not even basic switches or anything like that's just for you to have motors and a base to put all your things on so what i am planning to do is use something like this uh, like the 96 volts carbon to control all of the motor and make it into an actual robot but for this for the scope of this video all i'm going to do is to go ahead and assemble everything now i have to think about soldering the wires M might not do it in this video i don't know uh, again I'm not a big fan of these where they're not very flexible I'll probably end up using something more much more thinner but um, 
yeah apart from that that's about it let's go ahead and start assembling it or at least see uh, how far I am able to go Alright, so the build is pretty much done. Uh, all the components that were in the kit is are uh, all installed and in place, uh, and it looks actually pretty nice, especially the see-through component of it. And what I can do is add a bunch more uh, sensors and motor controllers uh, underneath, and it should look pretty well done once the project itself is complete. As for the kit, it's it's really nice. Uh, what I especially like about it is, is all the screws and the nuts and everything they are of the same spec apart from the length uh, which you need uh, about 8 uh, extra long screws to hold the motors in place and apart from that uh, I was able to finish this without any sort of instructions because they weren't really available and just seeing the uh, images on Amazon uh, so it's actually a pretty nice little kit. Um, Apart from that, I still need to decide how I want to use the battery uh, compartment here. So if it's 1.5 volts or 1.2 volts, depending on that, I would actually need a buck or a boost converter. Apart from that, it's almost pretty done, pretty much done. I have a few more screws uh, and nuts less left over. So that means I can still uh, add components without the use of sticky tape or a double sided tape. But uh, that's about it again that's done it's a really nice little kit i leave a link down in the description for the kit if you want to buy one but i'm not sure if it's available in your area or in your country because i just found it on amazon and it was on amazon india uh, so uh, keep that in mind again if you see it online don't really hesitate to buy it it's an it's cheap and it's pretty pretty good I, I actually personally recommend this kit so apart from that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one